We are in the line to cross the Daintree Forest River in the ferry line. So we haven't bought our ticket yet. We're going to try and do it online at the gate. So fingers crossed it all works out. We don't have to do a U-turn and come back out and find internet coverage. Went down the boat ramp and had a look at the river and it is huge, bigger than what you imagine in your head or I'd imagined in my head. It's just big and so many croc warnings, yeah. Didn't see any though. No, that's true. Anyway, we'll see what happens and how we go. Well, we've gone past the boom gate and we're $67 poorer. Poorer, yep. $67 return. It's $49 return for the car, 18 return for the van. Uh, so $67 or you can go one way if you want and it's I think it's $30 one way for the car and I think it's 12 for the van one way but she warns you though if you lose your return ticket no excuses they'll make you pay again This is us, and I think if he still did dances, he'd be dancing. Because he's pretty chuffed with this little site. Too old to dance. We're actually at Siesta. Yeah, it's a bit like bush camping. Yeah, this is rainforest camping. We are definitely in the rainforest. Oh, we're about to have to put the awning up. Here comes Ooh. the rain. Oh, here we'll be right. It's the rainforest, and it looks very beautiful. The sites are small, and from advice, we actually made sure we got powered because you're not getting much solar wherever you park. Two o'clock is check-in time. We got here about five to two because the ferry and a lot of road works, once, once, once you get off the ferry, it's very, very slow because of uh, cyclone Jasper last December. It caused a lot of problems. Our plan today is to start from the very north and work our way back down to camp. We are in Cape Tribulation, we think. It's a bit tricky because the maps don't reflect the road work and where the road becomes unsealed and sealed is all different now. And you can't swim. How mean is that? So literally, there's the rainforest and here's the sea.
we're following the tracks. It's pretty amazing under here. Have you lost the tracks? Oh, you lost them back there. Oh man, not much of a tracker. No. Probably put up into the bush somewhere. It's just so dense. Talking about root systems, look at that. The whole way along. Gosh. Oh, it's immediately darker in this side. Do this way. Watch out for the crops. They wouldn't be. Would yeah, they? I love root systems. I love roots. Wow, just a fight for survival. One lookout. Oh, okay, I think it has gone further. Look at the damage. Mm. Obviously the lookout has been washed out. Cyclone Jasper last December. Yeah. What a shame. Everything's been washed away. Like, you can see that metal has just been bent. And look at the big pylon, the tree down there. Devastation at its most destructive. We were driving along and we saw Masons and that they have a watering hole. So here we are at the Mason, swimming hole. Mason swimming hole. It's a dollar to swim. <coughs> and we put our money in the coin thing. John's now reconsidering, I think. Nice. We'll see how we go. I'm gonna get there's, in. There's vicious fish in there, look. But I've got to figure out where I'm gonna change. I'm swimming in the Daintree Rainforest right now. It's another day and along the main road near some shops there's a sign to a boardwalk through the rainforest so we can't help ourselves. We stop and we go for a walk and it ends up once again on the beautiful beach looking out to sea.
So literally, that's the end of the national park there. And there's the beach. And that's the beginning of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm just thinking, I've been pondering this, this it's worrying me, this, this thing. What? If you, went, if you went across the desert with a horse with no name, you'd think you'd know its name by then, wouldn't you? Yeah. Just think about it. We are at the Daintree Forest Discovery Centre. It does an aerial walk, or we do the aerial walk, but there's an aerial walk here. And we have listening tablets to listen to information as we walk around. And we've got a few hours to do it. Landing three is all about leaf structure and we continue to go up. Wow, we're at the top. Look at that move. Oh, I'm not moving, but look at that tree move. Holy dilly. It's just swinging. It's huge from down there. Look how bent that one is. My old mate. There's lots of education and things to look at in aquariums and insects. They've even been courteous enough to include two cane toads and let them sit around. They're not that thrilled, I don't think, but it's a big discovery center just underneath the canopy, which was very cool to go up through. All right, I think our time is up. We've done the cassowary walk numerous times and we've hung around quietly and there's not many people left in the sanctuary. And apart from seeing moving mechanical dinosaurs, we have not seen any other type of animals or birds. It was worth a try. <laughs> Rain, rain, go away. Although, can I really complain after yesterday, we had an amazing day and it's such high rainfall in this area. It's to be expected some days are just rainy. For us, we're going to move on. We had debated yesterday whether we have an extra day. Beautiful place to stay, perfect for us. We could drop the van off before it was too gnarly. Get in the car and go and explore as far north we only went as far as the unsealed road because they're doing so much road work at the moment. Sometimes you get stopped for 20 minutes at a time at the roadworks. So we just took that in. We didn't want to be sitting in the car all day. We did the highlights. I mean, I love swimming 
anywhere but swimming there yesterday was just great and we'd definitely stay here again last night we went out for dinner Wednesday was their music night and that was lovely at least the car's getting a wash not that it was particularly dirty are you ready to drive up the big range Mr. Hal? Yeah, I don't know which, which one we'll do yet there's three different ranges depending on and there are three different sort of steepnesses and whatever. We'll just get down there and see which one we soon decide to turn right on. We have stopped at Mossman for morning tea, which was nice. And I'm dragging him to church. <laughs> it says it's a historic church and it's open. Does that make it Anglican? Anglican church. I didn't see how old it was. Timber church was built in 1899, destroyed by cyclone in 1911. Then it was a men's reading room until 1952. This church was started and began in 1912. It was finished in 1952, so it took 40 years to build this stone church. Wow. Oh, and a pretty church it is actually really pretty after church the heavens absolutely opened up and it was pouring down so we're back in the car and we're heading north again and until next week i will see you on the other side Sharon, how do you find a blind man at an Uders beach? Yeah. It isn't hard. <laughs> <laughs>